Hey, what's going on? I'm Illegal Mist, and today we're going to be looking at an in-depth guide on farming food champions on dungeons. I've created a calculator so that you can go in and see what win percentage you need to maximize your efficiency based on the stage that you're doing, the dungeon that you're doing, and the amount of food champions that you have when you're doing it. I'll show you the math breakdown of how it works in Excel, but I'm also going to show you in-game the comparison of XP that we gain based on 12-3 brutal farming or farming food on dungeons, so that you know all of my math is legit and backed up by in game details. Let's get right into it. Before we dive into every example in the calculator, I first want to show you all the math behind it and make sure that we all understand what's going on with it. The first example I'm going to show you is farming stage 20 of Dragon Normal with three food champions and two farmers. We need to compare the amount of experience we gain from that compared to experience that we gain in one of the best places to get it, which is 12 3 Brutal. We can see here the total amount of experience that we gain from one 12 3 Brutal run is 17,304. For Dragon Stage 20 Normal, we get 14,454 experience. That experience is divvied up in four champions for 12 3 Brutal and five champions for Dragon. The energy amounts are different though. For 12 3 Brutal, we only use eight energy, but for Dragon Stage 20, we use 16. So it's double the amount of energy and we don't get double the amount of experience. So what we need to do is figure out how much total experience we gain for one energy that we use. Typically 12-3 Brutal is seen as one of the best ways to gain experience, so I use that as our baseline for the amount of experience that we can gain per energy. So that's our baseline at 2163 experience per energy we use. Alternatively, if we look at the Dragon stage, we can see we only gain 903 experience per energy. Again, we're only using three food champions for both 12-3 Brutal and for Dragon 20 Normal to make this simple. And we're gaining almost 13,000 experience in 12-3 Brutal, specifically for our food champions. And for Dragon, we're gaining about 8,600 experience for our three food champions. So we also want to break down the amount of experience we gain per energy for our food champions specifically, because the amount of experience we gain for our non-food champions is wasted, so it doesn't count as a resource that we're actually gaining from. For 12-3 Brutal, we're gaining 1,622 experience per energy, and for Dragon, we're gaining 542 experience per energy. What we can do from the amount of experience we gain for our food champions is directly compare that on both stages. So, whenever we do one run on 12-3 Brutal, it's going to come out to exactly one run of experience worth for 12-3 Brutal, which makes sense because it's the same stage is the same everything. But if we compare Dragon Stage 20 Normal with three food champions to 12-3 Brutal, we gain one and a half times the amount of experience during that 12-3 Brutal run than we do in the Dragon run. Meaning it takes one and a half Dragon runs to equate to the same amount of experience we would gain from just doing one run on 12-3 Brutal. So we can then say that one and a half runs on Dragon Stage 20 Normal with three food champions and two farmers equates to the exact same amount of experience that we would gain from one run on 12-3 Brutal. That means if we're farming those champions on that stage, we're essentially gaining eight energy for every one and a half runs that we do. We can then say after three runs of Dragon Stage 20 Normal with three food champions and two farmers, we're gaining the same amount of experience that we would if we did two runs of 12-3 Brutal, equating to 16 energy. So we're essentially saving 16 energy, which is the same amount of energy that it would take us to do a Dragon Stage 20 normal run. That means if we do Dragon four times and we fail one of those runs, we're still coming out even on the amount of energy that we're spending. The reason I say that is because the amount of experience that we gained during those three runs with our food champions where we were successful we're gaining the same amount of experience as if we just went into 12-3 Brutal. So that means that with a 75% win rate on Dragon 20 with 3 food champions and 2 farmers, you're gaining the exact same amount of experience and using the exact same amount of energy as you would if you did 3 runs on Dragon Stage 20 with 0 food champions and you went in and used that extra energy on 12-3 Brutal. So for our four runs example, where we have a 75% win rate, we can look at the breakdown here. We're doing stage 20 normal again, and we have three food champions. The total amount of experience that we gain for our food champions is just under 35,000, but we only have a 75% win rate, so we only take 75% of that, because three of our four runs were successful, 
and we're not counting any of the energy that we would gain from that last bail. So the XP that we gain after our win rate is included comes out to just over 26,000. During those four runs, we spend 16 energy each run, so it comes out to 16 times four, which is 64. Our total experience that we gained throughout that whole time is 26,002. If we compare that directly to doing three runs of Dragon 20 with no food at 100% win rate, and then two runs on 12-3 Brutal, we can see the math here. Three dragon runs of energy comes out to 48, because again, it's that 16 times three. The amount of experience that we gain this time is zero because we don't have any food champions. And then we go in and we do two runs on 12-3 Brutal, which comes out to eight energy each, or 16 total energy. And the amount of experience that we gain from those two runs is 25,956. So again, we're using 64 energy. We still have three successful runs on dragon stage 20, and and then we go into 12-3 Brutal. So we're using 64 energy to gain 25,956 experience for our food champions. To show exactly how this works, I'm gonna do three runs on Dragon, and then we'll count the fourth one as a fail, but I'm not gonna do it because there's no point in just failing a run for no reason. And then I'll go in and I'll do two runs on 12-3 Brutal with the same rank champions, so that way we can directly compare the amount of experience that they gain during those two runs on 12-3 Brutal. We can see here that our three food champions got to just about under half uh, level nine. So what we're going to do now is go to 12-3 Brutal and we're going to run one run with three food champions and see how it compares. Okay, so we have our three food champions and our food farmer and we'll go in and do the run. So we can see here after the two runs on 12-3 Brutal, we got just about the same amount of experience as we did when we ran the three food champions on Dragon Stage 20. So now that you've seen the example of two runs on 12-3 Brutal equating to the same amount of experience that we gain from three runs on Dragon Stage 20 with three food champions, we can go in and look at all of the other dungeons and stages as well as comparing different amount of food champions that we have and seeing whether or not it's worth it for us to farm food. So for Dragon Stage 16, we go in and we have a little bit different math because we have a different amount of energy, we can potentially have a different amount of food champions, and we're also gaining different amounts of experience. The number that we're comparing it to as far as experience gain is the same because we're still comparing it to 12-3 Brutal. So again, just to go down the breakdown, for stage 16 of Dragon, we're gaining 11,960 experience this time. We still have five champions that we're using, but we're only using 14 energy instead of 16. The amount of experience per energy goes to 854 because we're not gaining as much experience as we would on Dragon 20. We're still using three food champions in this example, and our total experience per food champion is 7176. That means our total experience per energy for our food champions comes out to 513. Now when we compare this number to the number for 12-3 experience that we would gain, it comes out to 1.8 runs meaning 1.8 runs of Dragon Stage 16 with three food champions is the same amount of experience that we would gain from one run on 12-3 Brutal. 
That means we'd need to run 3.2 runs of Dragon Stage 16 to recoup the amount of energy it took us to run a Dragon Run. What that essentially means is that our win-loss ratio needs to be about 76% or higher in order for it to be more efficient than just doing Stage 16 at 100% rate and using the excess energy that we would have on 12-3 Brutal. So now that we know the win rate percentage for our Dragon Runs, we have to go in and do this for Ice Golem, for Spider, and Fire Knight. Fortunately, I did that already, and it's the same math as here, but the numbers are slightly different based on the amount of experience we gain and the food champions that we have. So while the chart is nice to have in case we want to see specific details on every single thing that goes into our win percentage, in reality we probably don't need that and it's a lot easier to just go in and create a calculator so that anyone can use it and see what win percentage they need based on their specific circumstances. I created a calculator for every dungeon and we're able to go in and change the specific stage as well as number of food champions that we have. For Dragon, we know that the win rate for stage 20 with 3 food is 74.96%, but what if we were only able to farm 2 food with this? All we need to do is change the number under number of food, and we can change that to something like 2. We can then see, with 2 food champions, the win rate we need increases because we're gaining less experience, and that goes up to almost 82%. But what if I was farming stage 10 hard, and I only had 2 food champions? we can see our win rate is almost 85%. For my account specifically, I farm stage 10 hard of dragon with two champions and I have about a 95% win rate. So to see what win percentage I need, I just change the number of food champions to three and I keep it on 10 hard. I can see that the win rate percentage I need is 78.91% and I'm well over that threshold. So now that I know I'm over the threshold and I'm actually doing a service to my account by farming it with food champions, I want to know exactly how much energy am I saving and what does that equate to in gems. Luckily again, I already did that for us so we can go down and see that below. In order to do that, all I need to know is the win rate percentage that I have. You can also just do a guesstimate if you don't know the exact percentage. Right below our dragon food farming calculator is the savings that we have after 100 runs. All we need to do is make sure that we have the correct stage selected above and the amount of food champions we have, and then we change the win rate percentage that we have for our team. For my Dragon 10 hard team with three food champions, I have probably a 96 or 97% win rate, so I'll change it to 96%. We can see over the course of 100 runs, I'm essentially gaining myself 433 energy. We get that number because we get the total amount of experience that we gained throughout doing the runs on Dragon. We then convert the amount of experience that we gain into energy that we would use if we were doing 12-3 Brutal Farming. And then we take the amount of energy that we lose from every failed run, and we equate that into energy that it would be if we ran 12-3 Brutal. So the energy that we gain from doing this is about 513, and the energy that we lose from our failed runs comes out to about 80. So we get a net 433 energy over the course of doing this, and it comes out to about 133 gems. So over the course of 100 runs, I'm saving myself about 130 gems, but over the course of 1,000 runs, I'll be saving myself over 1,000 gems, and you can see how food farming on dungeons really is super important if you're trying to min-max everything on your account. If you were trying to be the most efficient you could be for Dragon, you'd want to make sure that you're farming stage 20 with 4 food champions. I have a bad L that can do that, and I've been doing it for quite a while before the hard mode dungeons came out, and I had about a 100% win rate. So over the course of 100 runs, if I have a 100% win rate, I'm saving myself 219 gems. For something like Fire Knight, I'm pretty sure no one can farm food on stage 10 hard because it's pretty much impossible to do even without food. But I know Tairaku had a video where he had Dark K and Allure doing stage 25. If we do stage 25 with 3 food champion like he had in the video, I think he said his team was about a 95% win rate. We can see we only need a 79.21% win rate in order to break even, but for his runs he said he had about a 95% win rate. If I scroll all the way up and I choose 95% win rate, we can see over the course of 100 runs, he was saving himself, again, about 123 gems. So if you consistently farm food on every dungeon, you're saving yourself a pretty substantial amount of energy and gems. For Ice Golem Stage 20, I had to duo it, and I only had 3 food champions. My win rate was probably about 95% because there was the off chance that the boss would hit me with a retaliation proc, 
but we can still see at 95%, I was gaining a pretty significant amount of energy by doing that with food. So it was well worth the investment of doing the three food champions with my Bad L and my Crisk than it was to just run a full 100% team. Before hard mode dungeons came out, I was farming food on Spider as well with Sissy and Ultimate Death Knight. So stage 25, I was able to have three food champions and I had pretty much a 100% win rate. The win rate I needed was only 78% and we can see over the course of 100 runs at about 99% we'll say. I saved myself 163 gems over the course of 100 runs. And during CVCs, I would often do this. So I would do multiple runs and I would probably average about 200 spider runs a CVC. So I'm saving myself 300 gems worth of energy just by farming food during those spider runs. If you guys have any questions or want me to add any other dungeons or compare the amount of experience with 12-3 Nightmare, which a lot of people probably don't do, let me know in the comments below and I'll see what I can do. This video took me over 10 hours to create, so let me know that you enjoyed it by hitting that like button and consider subscribing if you like this kind of content. That's all I have in this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.